get it. Magic formula, 
raising his attack points to 3,200. And that's not all. I also equip my Dark Magician Girl with Mage Power, increasing her attack and defense points by 500 for each spell and trap card on my field. Next, I'll set a card to my spell and trap card zone. Now that I have three spell or trap cards on my field, my Mage Power raises my Dark Magician Girl's attack points to 3,500. Now, Dark Magician, attack my Harpy Chandler with Dark Magic Attack! You put so much work into increasing your monster's attack points that I almost feel bad about doing this to you. Almost. I activate my trap card, Mirror Wall. Now the attack points of each of your monsters that attacks me are cut in half. Dark Magician drops down to just 1,600 attack points. Good move. But not good enough. Your Harpy Chandler only has 1,400 attack points. That means it's still destroyed by my magician. And with your Harpy Chandler off the field, your Harpy's pet dragon drops back down to 2,000 attack points and 2,500 defense points. It's no big deal. I only lose 200 life points. And don't forget that my mirror wall is a continuous trap card. Now, whenever any of your monsters attack, it permanently loses half of its attack points. So even with mage power equipped, my Dark Magician Girl isn't strong enough to destroy your pet dragon. But I have one card, that is. I activate Thousand Knives! Behold, one of my magician's greatest tricks as it sends a thousand knives hurling at your hobby's pet dragon. Well, I have a trick of my own, Yugi. I activate Fairy's Hand Mirror. This card diverts the path of your knives. Looks like they're being deflected, reflected right at your Dark Magician Girl instead. Oh no! Dark Magician Girl! <laughs> now you... <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> now you're back down to just one wimpy magician. I have no choice but to end my turn. Turn three. My turn. You, 2,000. My, 3,800. It's my turn. First I summon Cyber... Sorry. Cyber Harpy Lady, that's right. <laughs> Just like my Harpy Chandler, this card's name is treated as a Harpy Lady. That means my Harpy's pet dragon is back up to 2,500 attack points and 2,800 defense points. Next, I activate Card of Sanctity. Now, we each draw from our decks until we have six cards in our hands. Next, I upgrade my Cyber Harpy Lady with Cyber Shield, raising its attack points to 2300. Finally, I switch my Harpy's Pet Dragon into Attack Mode. It looks like this duel is going to be a short one, Yugi. As soon as my Harpy's Pet Dragon wipes out your magician, my Cyber Harpy Lady will finish off the rest of your life points. Harpy's Pet Dragon, attack Yugi's Dark Magician with Fearsome Fire Blast! If you want to destroy my Dark Magician, you'll have to find him first. hidden within one of these four hats. Good luck finding You may have some dueling sense, but you have no fashion sense at all. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing one of those hats, Yugi. You only have four hats on the field, and I have two monsters that I can attack with. That means I have a 50-50 chance of finding your magician. Then go ahead and test your luck, my. We are in Vegas, after all. <laughs> Harpy's Pet Dragon, attack the leftmost hat! It looks like he wasn't hiding there. <laughs> well, I still have one more attack. Cyber Harpy Lady, attack the middle hat! <laughs> Mr. <Mystical. laughs> you got lucky this time, Yugi. I'll set a card and then end my turn. Turn four. Yugi's turn. 
Yugi 2000, Mai 3800. First, I dispel my magical hats and return my dark magician to attack mode. <laughs> Why would you risk your magician's safety by having it leave your magical hats? Your dark magician only has 1,600 attack points, even with its magic formula still equipped to it. Your magician is no match for either of my monsters. You will see soon enough, Mike. I activate Pot of Green. <laughs> Outside of my draw phase, I can special summon it to the field. Am I supposed to be scared of a little cotton ball? You can insult my monsters all you want, but the strength of my deck is about to be revealed. I activate Black Magic Ritual. Oh. It's a ritual spell card, Mai. Watch as I tribute my dark magician and water bomb. Come forth, magician of black chaos! How did you turn your two pathetic monsters into that thing? Even my smallest monsters are key components of my deck, Mai. Greatness lies within each of them. You would be wise to never underestimate their strength. And this is just the beginning. Since my magic formula was sent to the graveyard when my dark magician was tributed in the ritual sunk, I gained 1,000 life points. Now I'm up to 3,000 life points. That's a lot of work for a little payoff. I still have my mirror wall protecting me. But you won't for long. I activate my spell card, Mystical Space Typhoon! Oh, no. This card shatters your mirror wall, leaving my magician of black chaos's attack unimpeded. Magician of Black Chaos, attack and destroy my dragon. Chaos Scepter Blast! You lose 500 life points and your dragon has been slain. You'll pay for that. We'll see. I set a card and then end my turn. Turn 5, my turn. Yugi, 3000. Mai, 3300. It's my turn to draw. First, I activate Hysteric Sign! This card lets me add an Elegant Egotist from my deck to my hand. Next, I'll use my Elegant Egotist to turn one Cyber Harvey Lady into three! Now that I have three Harveys on the field, I can perform an Exceed Summon. It's a new move that I just learned this weekend. He taught it to me. <laughs> I combine all three of my cyber, cyber harpy ladies to summon Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon. When I perform an Ixie summon, all of the monsters used in the summon become Ixie's materials attached to the Ixie's monster that I summon. Since I combined three harpies to make Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon, my Phantasmal Dragon has three Ixies materials attached to it. And it gets even better. As long as Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon has an Ixies material attached to it, it can attack you directly, Yugi. Plus, you can't target or attack any of my Harpy monsters, including Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon. So that means I can't attack at all? You're catching on. <laughs> My phantasmal dragon may not have as many attack points as your, ma as your magician of black chaos, but that doesn't matter because it can attack you directly. Harvey's pet phantasmal dragon, tear Yugi to shreds! Your monster may be powerful, but it's not invincible. I activate my trap card, Mirror Force! <laughs> you and your dragon. Since my mirror voice trap card doesn't target the monster whose attack it repels, your phantasmal dragon is powerless to stop it. But I'm not. I'll activate a trap card of my own, you Trap Jammer! Trap 
card activated in the battle phase, including your mirror force. Looks like my attack isn't reflected after all. You lose 2,000 life points from my Phantasmal Dragon's attack, and you're down to just 1,000 life points. I'll end my turn. But before I do, I need to detach an Ipsy's material from Harvey's pet Phantasmal Dragon during each of my end phases. You're up, Yugi. Turn six. Yugi's turn. Yugi, 1,000. Maya, 3,300. It's my move. Since your harpy's pet phantasmal dragon prevents me from attacking, I think I'll give you a taste of your own medicine. I activate my spell card, Swords of Revealing Light! This card prevents your, your monsters from attacking for three turns, and since your pet phantasmal dragon detaches one of its Xyz material each turn and needs those Xyz materials to use its effect, by the time my swords expire, your phantasmal dragon will be vulnerable to my magician. Finally, I set two more cards face down and end my turn. Turn seven, minus turn, you, 1,000, it's my turn. I activate Pot of Greed. This card lets me draw two cards from my deck. Perfect. I summon Harpy Queen. While my Harpy Queen is on the field, I can activate this card. Harpy's Feather Duster. I activate my spell card, Emergency Provisions. Now I can send any of my spell or trap cards to the graveyard and gain 1,000 life points for each of them. Looks like someone's desperate. Desperate, but smart. <laughs> I'll send my spells of revealing light and spellbinding circle to the graveyard to gain 2,000 life points. Now I'm up to 3,000 life points. Even so, now you're defenseless. Far from it. I may not have any spells or traps, but I still have my Magician of Black Chaos protecting me. You won't for long. I equip my Harpy Queen with Cyber Shield to raise its attack points by 500. You should have paid more attention in math class. <laughs> that only raises your Harpy Queen to 2400 attack points. It's still no match for my Magician of Black Chaos. Maybe not yet. But now I activate Spell Reproduction. This card lets me discard two spell cards to return a spell card from my graveyard to my hand. I'll discard two spells to bring another cyber shield back to my hand. I'll equip it to my Harvey Queen, raising her attack points to 2,900. 2,900? That's stronger than my magician. I guess I was paying more attention to math class than you, Poindexter. <laughs> Harpy Queen, attack and destroy Yugi's Magician of Black Chaos! Oh no! You lose 100 life points. Now it's my Phantasmal Dragon's turn to attack. Harpy's Pack, Phantasmal Dragon, attack Yugi directly! I can't, too make, I can't take too much more of that. You're down to your last 900 life points. I'll detach an Ixies material from my Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon, and then end my turn. Turn 8. Yugi's turn. Yugi, 900. Mine, 4300. It's my move. First, I set a card in my spell and trap card zone. Next, I activate Card of Psychity. Now, we each draw from our decks until we have six cards in our hands. Then I'll activate Graceful Charity. This card lets me draw three cards and discard two. Next, I activate Monster Reborn. To special summon the Queen's Knight that I just discarded. Oh, shit. I summon King's Knight! When King's Knight is summoned while Queen's Knight is on the field, I can special summon Jack's Knight from my deck. Now I have Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, and King's Knight on my field. These are three great cards to have in place. I usually like Flash and Pizzazz, but this time, I'm not impressed. Your royal rush.
months are no match for my high-flying harpies. You may have summoned three monsters to the field, but they're all useless. I've told you before, nothing is useless. My turn may be over, but this duel is far from it. I draw. I activate Harpy's Hunting Ground. As long as this card is face up on my field, all of my winged beast monsters gain 200 attack and defense points. That means your Harpy Queen is up to 3,100 attack points. Plus, whenever I summon a Harpy Lady to the field, I get to destroy a spell or trap card. Therefore, I summon Harpy Channeler. Since this card's name is treated as Harpy Lady, I get to destroy a spell or trap card on the field. I'll destroy my hysteric sign. Why would you destroy your own sign? You'll see soon enough, Yugi. Next, I activate Monster Reborn to special summon Cyber Harpy Lady in attack mode. This time, I use the effect of my Harpy's hunting ground to destroy your face down card. There goes your last line of defense. I chain my trap card. Zero gravity. Oh. Now all monsters on the field change their battle positions. That means all of our monsters switch into defense mode. Cool trick, but it won't help you. Since my Harpy Queen and Harpy's pet Phantasmal Dragon have been on the field since last turn, I can just switch them back into attack mode. And since there are no more spell or trap cards left on your field, there's nothing you can do to stop my Harpy's pet Phantasmal Dragon's direct attack. Harpy's pet
that's about to change my life. I tribute Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, and King's Knight. Let him carry cards of Egypt. Please, hear my name. In the name of every pharaoh that came before me, and now beseech me, I summon Obelisk for Tomato! That's right, my None other than Obelisk the Tormentor. My Obelisk the Tormentor has 4,000 attack points, making it the strongest monster on the field. This can't be happening. And my Obelisk's power doesn't stop there. By tributing two monsters, Obelisk the Tormentor, my Obelisk has all of your monsters, but its power also becomes infinite. I tribute two Karibos to activate Obelisk the Tormentor's effect. Watch. As the strongest monster in my deck joins forces with the weakest to create an unstoppable power. Obelisk the Tormentor, end this duel with your fist of fury! But at the same time, the only way you could beat me was to summon an Egyptian god. Good duel, you do. No, no. You mean great duel, I. You really had me on the ropes for a while. Those new copy cards are very powerful, and you displayed exceptional skill while using them. Thanks, you do. I knew I should have brought my Harvey Lady Phoenix Formation spell card with me. I think I'm going to walk around a bit and see if I can find any other new cards for my deck. Got one for me? Hook her up. That way, the next time we duel, I'll be the winner. I'm looking forward to it. Oh. But now, let's continue with the Dragon Duel World Championship. Right. Competing for the third and fourth place is Niels Thunberger from Germany versus Mara Ruiz from Costa Rica. Thank you.